What's going on guys, my name's Claire, and today I have one of my craziest unboxings, if not my craziest unboxing, right? So these are going to be the Air Dior Jordan Lowe's. Um, they are completely dead stock, um, never even tried on, and they have original everything. All the accessories, the receipt, dust bags, everything it comes with when you buy it straight from the store, or if you want it from a raffle, all right? So without further ado, let's get straight into the unboxing. All right, guys, so for most of the unboxings that I'll do on my channel, I'll give a full on background why I thought it would be a good review, uh, blah, blah, blah. But as far as these shoes right here, I feel like you guys probably have a good idea on what they are. Um, if you guys don't, basically two powerhouses came together, one designer powerhouse and one sneaker powerhouse, and they created the number one shoe of 2020. And by number one, I mean the most sought after shoe of 2020 that's gotten the highest markup that out of any shoe that i've seen i mean paying ten thousand dollars for a shoe is crazy and there are very very few shoes ever to go for that amount but the lows are currently going for somewhere around six thousand if you guys are looking at your farfetch or other sites such as ebay or whatever else they might seem to be a little bit more um, but that's just with the markup if you guys do some decent shopping 6,000 is about what people are paying as well as what sellers are selling for. So if you guys are looking for these shoes, expect to pay somewhere around $6,000. But giving you guys a quick look at the box, you guys can obviously see uh, the navy color, the Air Dior right here, as well as the little tags on the side. You guys can see the size 45 right there, which is equivalent to a US 11. You guys can see pretty flawless condition i mean i really want to take care of these but how this box opens up is there's a little flap right here in the front and you're going to be able to essentially wrong side you're going to be able to slide it up like this it's completely magnetic right here and you're going to be able to see the receipt so showing you guys how it comes you guys can see the little dust bags right there as well as the receipt um, I'm going to try to make sure to cover out the address on it because my buddy is actually the person that run the, that won the raffle and got it for me. But I'll show you guys right here. Here is the receipt. Uh, the raffle winner paid $2,000 for it plus tax, which is about $2,200. And here's another receipt. I think one's from Dior and one is from the actual raffle. But yeah, you guys can see that I do not review any item that is counterfeit and then next up is the dust bags you guys are going to be able to see here is the air dior dust bag um, i just opened this up once um, and you guys can get a good look navy color air dior design absolutely iconic um, and obviously there's going to be another one as well right here and obviously they're very clean and obviously if you guys are people that wear your shoes or wear these shoes then you guys are obviously going to want to keep these in there um, when you're not wearing them and that's always what i do but since these are completely brand new and i'm a little bit nervous to wear them i haven't really put them in the dust bags usually i'll put them up for kind of display in my room and stare at them and kind of decide should i wear them should i not but long story short i have not yet and then obviously the packaging is going to be in here. It's completely flawless. If something rips, it's because I did it right now because I have not ripped anything in the past. I've only opened it a few times, but you guys are going to obviously going to be able to see. I'm just going to pull this down, pull this back, move these things to the side, and you guys are going to be able to see these shoes right there. So obviously you guys are going to want to see them up close and personal. Here are the Air Dior Jordan Lowe's that are going for four to five figures. But you guys can see a little Nike symbol right here with the Air Dior, with the Dior um, design on the inside. You guys can see the little wings in the back. Here, let's show you guys this side as well. A little flap in the front. And the inside, you're going to see the Jordan right there. And one of the coolest features and one of the things that I feel like is so underrated about these shoes is the bottom. I feel like they're absolutely gorgeous, this bluish color um, and the Dior on the bottom. And the bottom actually looks different on each shoe. The other one, as you guys will be able to see right now, is going to have the wings. 
guys can see air dior the wings right here i think this one's a little bit cooler but nonetheless absolutely insane shoes show you guys a little flap right here dior air and just the little details you guys can see um the strings right here they say dior on them so absolutely insane little details so obviously when i showed you guys the inside of the other one it had the jordan on it and this one has the dior so it's definitely a 50 50 collaboration you guys can see little trademarks and little um things from each of the brands um there's not like a full-on jordan where it's like it's a full-on jordan shoe with a little bit of dior on it it's it's really is 50 50 in my eyes but let me show you guys some of the accessories before i show you guys the shoes more um, when you buy these shoes you're gonna get two tongues for the inside um i don't know if they're called tongues but obviously on the inside you're gonna have this layer in here that you're gonna put your foot on and let's say that you get that you wear these shoes a lot and you end up tearing the inside maybe you guys can remember when you guys were little kids and you would tear up your shoes um you obviously have these and i actually like these ones more if you guys look up close it has dior all over it on each and yeah so these are really sick and a really good detail to have and sometimes when I've looked at reviews online, they don't show you the other little details that they come with. But when you get it straight from the raffle or straight from wherever you got it, they have a little keychains that they're going to give you that you can put on the shoes. Some people use them for different things. They'll put them on like a backpack or whatever else. But they're meant to go on the shoes. They're meant for you to put your put the shoestring through and put it right on the side and then tie them up. But here's the first one that I'll show you guys. Air Dior, the wing design right there there and put it back in and it, each one has its own pouch as you guys can see i'll set that to the side and show you guys the next one this one looks to be a little bit bigger and these are actually the extra laces as you guys can see and i'll just show you guys one more time that one lace side is going to have the jordan symbol on it let me show you guys the best i can hopefully you guys can kind of see that jordan right there and then the other one is going to have the dior i showed you guys on the last one i don't think i show you guys the jordan but it is a 50 50 collaboration and then i'll show you guys the other keychain here dior little pouch great details and this is obviously going to be the jordan so this is super sick and i mean they have the Jordan keychain and they still add that little Dior symbol on the back. The details of this collaboration are absolutely insane. And I mean, if you guys look really, really, really close up on this, it looks like they have the D's on it for Dior. You know, a little pattern. Maybe it's just me, but in my eyes, it kind of looks like it. But I will set this to the side. Those were the two keychains that you're going to get. There isn't another one, but I will show you guys once more the shoes. So they're going to have a little holder on the inside that they come with on each of them. And when you guys just look at them, you guys will see that they're, that it really is 50-50. I know I've said that quite a few times, but you guys can see the Dior on the Nike symbol. You guys can see the Dior on the bottom, the Dior colors all over. I mean, this I can see why people are paying so much for these shoes. I mean, even if they weren't as hyped and even if they didn't have the brand name Jordan and Dior, they're just an amazing looking shoe, but there's not too many other details that I wanted to go over in this video. So if you guys want to know anything about the shoes, make sure to leave it down in the comments and let me know what else you guys want to see on my channel. I mean, I've been bringing some crazy content since Supreme Louis Vuitton. If you guys have not checked out those videos, make sure you go ahead and check them out. But yeah, I'll show you guys once more the little Nike symbol right here. And let me know also down in the comments. Are these shoes that you guys are going to keep because you think they're going to go up in value? Are these shoes that you're going to wear? Are these shoes that just aren't even worth buying in general and, and are just way overhyped? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And let me know what else you guys want to see down like on my channel. And if you guys are looking to buy anything, I've been helping out a lot of my subscribers get whatever items they're looking for. Make sure to message me on Instagram at Connor.Langley. Uh, let me know that you're subscribed to my channel. And I'm happy to help you guys out. But without further ado, I just want to thank you guys for watching the video. And I will see you guys in the next one.